Okay, everyone, I am so thrilled today because I am joined by Warren, Amy, and Emily of The Watchful Eye on Freeform and Hulu. How are you guys doing today? Great. How's it going, Steve? <laughs> I'm doing really good. Um, I'm so excited to talk to you guys. I absolutely love the show. Um, my first question is actually for Amy. Amy, with Tori, do you get a little bit of like a sick thrill playing a character who can be pretty cruel to other people in the show? <laughs> Yes, we had lots of fun moments where I just got to be the meanest I've ever been. And then <laughs> die laughing. I just like walk away in the middle of someone talking. And it was, it's kind of a really, um, you know, it, it makes you feel good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I got it out of my system, I guess. <laughs> good. So it's got to be a little therapeutic doing it. I, I like to hear yeah. that. Um, you know, you do a great job at it. And then I was going to ask Warren, when you're playing this mysterious character of Matthew, when you first read the script, did you feel like you got a grip on him right away? Or is he kind of almost like as mysterious as he is to the audience in a sense? Well, I feel like I got an idea of who he was at his core, which is a father and like the grieving and different stuff like that. But I mean, what drew me to this thing in the first place is, is, is just like, you know, pilots are tough, man. I mean, you got to build this world. You got to introduce these characters. You got to hope the viewing audience clicks, but then sometimes, you know, where are you going to go with it? And mm -hmm. you look at the pilot and you're like, oh man, we could go a million different directions. So that's what I found exciting about it. We introduced a lot of characters. We kind of just scratch the surface of what they could be, but because the audience also knows whatever we're talking about, it, it's a, it's a murder mystery because of the opening scene. Like mm. you don't trust anyone. You shouldn't trust anyone. And to yeah. play with that for the whole series, I mean, that's the best. We love messing with people, right? And we love to be messed with as an audience. That's the best. Yeah, 100%. And I love that the first two episodes coming out, like, do a good job of hooking in, like you're saying, and make us want to know more and more about this. Um, now, Emily, you have a lot of experience writing on shows. I want to know now what's, like, the thing that really stuck out to you, like, the biggest difference now being the showrunner. Did you really like being a showrunner? Was it a lot more pressure? Like, how did that feel? Oh, I love being the showrunner i get i i'm instantly drunk with power uh, <laughs> i it's what's fun about it is you're really you know someone once described uh you know of uh, making a television show as, as an octopus right it's like you've got so many different things going on at once and they all have to work together but they're all sort of like being developed independently you've got you know your wardrobe and the set design and the props and the sound design and the lighting and the you know, everything kind of needs to uh, work together like an orchestra in order to create this environment and to create this world that we have to believe in instantly. Um, and, you know, as the showrunner, you're kind of, um, you know, you're, you, you, to the degree that you want to be, you can get involved with all of those decisions mm. and with all of those, like, you know, ideas and you can sort of sit around and, and, and brainstorm about like, well, how would this look and how would that sound? And um, I just, I, I really, really like getting sort of that bird's eye view. Um, and also, you know, building the show itself and the, and the mystery of it, just, you know, starting with the scripts, which is where everything starts, um, you know, that's, that's great fun. You know, ideally you're in a writer's room and you can have one of those big walls that looks like a beautiful mind with like a zillion post-its and red string. And, you know, uh, we were because of, COVID restrictions working on Zoom. So we didn't really mm. have that, um, you know, we didn't have the red strings and the post-its. Uh, we had a virtual version of it, which is, right. you know, it, it was totally fine and great and functional. Um, but, you know, building the mystery requires a lot of like, you know, it's a, it's, it's, it's a huge puzzle and, you know, you have to reveal something periodically um without revealing too much and uh uh it was definitely like a show that would I would wake up in the middle of the night with an idea and have to you know scribble it down in the dark and then the next morning wouldn't make any sense but you know it just was all it got in my head like that um and uh and it's and it's 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 fun and but you do you've made a lot of decisions I mean that's that's that show running is yeah, and I could tell with the answer you gave too, like how many things you're thinking about, which is incredible. So it shows like all those things you're taking on show and you do a great job. So I'm excited for people to just see your work come to life. Now, Amy, 
<laughs> there are two great looking action figures of you from Angel of Fred and Illyria made way back in the day. Um, do you have these figures? I wonder as like just someone who's a fan of Buffy and Angel, like, do you have them somewhere just like in a little like cupboard somewhere? I do have them. <laughs> oh, this is great news. She gives them out to people as rap gifts and she signs them. <laughs> yeah, right. I knew it. <laughs> I don't know that Tori's getting I would like to have Tori action figure now. So oh there you yeah, that would be sick. <laughs> <laughs> now you want a bunch of action figures you just yeah. send them out to people. that'd be great um no i love that. that's great to hear that's just cool that's a geeky thing for me to hear um and then <laughs> warren playing this character that's dealing with serious grief uh is it easy for you as an actor to snap out of those kind of dark places like when the camera stops or you kind of still kind of got to stay there uh, I mean, it depends. Each role is kind of different. The interesting thing about I find with Matthew is I always imagined him, his grief was off camera. He woke up, you know, took a deep breath, got dressed and was like, I need to push forward for my kid and cover up. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I, I think that's very different than seeing someone on screen constantly. I mean, there's moments and we'll see in the cracks in, the, in, in it all and all those different things happen. But in general, this is a guy who's just kind of trying to push forward and and do everything he can so that his son can heal, his son can move forward. I think his own healing is secondary. Mm. And I think that's why he finds Elena to be such a breath of fresh air. I think he's just like, maybe this is it. Maybe we can finally start to, you know, put the pieces together because she connects with him and she starts to bring him out of uh, Jasper out of his shell. And so um, there's other times when, you know, another character where it's so much that, it's a hard thing to shake because you're always, you know, you're trying to live in a thing and we're just, we're emotional human beings. And, and if you're trying to tap into something, it's not always an off on switch. So if, depending on who the actor is, sometimes it can be harder to let go of. Sometimes it's easier, but it just kind of depends on the depth of what you're doing. And, and are you doing it in front? Are you showing everyone that? Or is it something, you know, that you're, you feel this character is doing quietly on the side? No, for sure. And that's that's a great answer, too. And I like you mentioned Jasper and just all the character relationships that happen with Matthew. And I think that's what makes this show so strong will stick with people is the relationships in it. So thank you guys for joining me today. And everyone check out Watchful Eye on Freeform. And it's next day on Hulu when it comes out on Mondays. Uh, I love talking to you guys and I hope to talk to you in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you, Steve. Thanks, buddy.